going to learn simple harmonic motion. I'm going to show you two scenarios. You're going to discover which scenario is an example of simple harmonic motion. Scenario number one. I'm going to drop this book on my hand. Scenario number two. I'm going to suspend this mass on this spin. Which scenario? Scenario one or scenario two, an example of simple harmonic motion. Okay, scenario one is not an example of simple harmonic motion one because and they even happen only once. Scenario two, for example, an example of simple harmonic motion. Why? Because it's oscillating. It's like a pendulum. It's like a grandfather clock. It's moving up, down, moving up, down. So this is an example of simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion is y equal to sine x. And that's what we're going to prove now. Why simple harmonic motion? Why the mass suspended on a spring is y equal to sine x? And then we're going to show some example. All right, let's first thing first. Let's show why simple harmonic motion is y equal to sine x. Uh, so let's uh, draw a spring. This is compressed. Why it is compressed? Because it's held against a mass. A spring which is not compressed and which is not stressed. This is in equil equilibrium. All right. Why it is in equilibrium? Because it changes the direction. Okay. Now, and this is when it's stress. Okay, so now this one is, of course, compressed. This one is e equilibrium. And this one is a stress. Okay, now this one is, uh, okay, so let's, let's, now, let's now draw this one. Uh, this one is now... This one now oscillate between between positive x to negative x. Okay. How? From positive x to negative x. This one oscillate between positive x to negative x. Positive x to negative x. It keeps happening. Alright, so how many how many points makes a period? So what is period? Period is what what is period? Period is period is t, which is uh, cycle of, um, time over cycle, which is as I is second, and frequency is cycle over time, which is one over second, as I unit is hertz. Okay, now, how many points makes a period? Well, five points. How five points makes a period? Uh, here, x is equal to zero. Okay, five point, um, five point makes a period. How? One, uh, let me put it over here. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's see how five point makes a period. Oh, well, they are the same color. I'm going to change the color. Okay, all right, number one. Uh, is this just from negative one? So I'm going to start negative one. And then from negative one to the equilibrium. From equilibrium to stress. From stress to equilibrium, from equilibrium to compress. All right, so this is a period. Why this is a period? Because it starts and it stops at the same location. All right, is it start from compress and is it stop at compress? How? One period. So this is one period. So what is then half period? This is half a period. What is then quarter period? This is quarter period. Okay. Everything you need to know. This is quarter period. This is half period. And this is period. Okay. This is quarter period.
this is half period and this is a period okay all right so since we established that uh, we gonna just dive in a problem we're gonna start with a simple problem and a simple problem is let's say you have a tie gun okay a bullet held against a spring which is compressed string complex is centimeter now the spring is no longer compressed this is equilibrium why is that because bullet is outside the gun so you see that all the energy uh, okay all the mechanical energy one form of mechanical energy convert to other form of mechanical energy okay what type of mechanical energy you have over here? Uh, potential mechanical energy, potential, uh, potential, mecha uh, potential mechanical energy due to the spring. And what type of mechanical energy you have over there? Or all the potential uh, energy become a kinetic energy. So kinetic energy, 150 newton over newton. Okay, so what do you try to find? We try to find uh, the velocity. How can we find it? Mechanical energy at location 1 is equal to mechanical energy at location 2. Uh, so what does that mean? Potential energy due to spin is equal to kinetic energy. What? How can we solve it? Well, very easy. Half kx square is equal to half mv square. Half, half cancel. So mv square is equal to kx square. So velocity squared is equal to kx squared over m, 250 times 0 0.06 squared divided by mass, 0.1. So velocity squared is 9. So velocity is 3 meter per second. All right, so this is kind of easy. But now let's put this gun and bullet at the y direction. If you put this gun and bullet at the y direction, then things are gonna become a little bit, little bit um, interesting. All right, so we're gonna ha have the same height. Okay. So before I, uh, before anything, I'm gonna ask you how many spring over here? Not three, not two, just one spring. Why? Because this is snapshot of different time. Okay. Now let's put a ball at some height above the at some height above the what above the spring at some height above the spring I have to be this ball let's say 55 centimeters and zero height okay in order to call it zero height I have to put an x-axis otherwise I cannot call it zero height put this x-axis and I can call this one zero height. Why is that? Okay, so I can call this one zero height now. Why is that? Because this is y axis, this is x axis, every single point on the x axis y is equal to zero. That means there is a height over here, which is not zero, let's say 15 centimeters. Ball is now over here. Compress, compressing this string, this string. So remember, this is then this is uh, this this one is um, this one is negative x. Uh, at no point the spring is stressed. Okay, the spring is compressed. Okay, so what do we want to find? We want to find. I'm going to give you some value. I'm going to give you mass is equal to what? Two point six kilogram. All right. So what are we going to find? We're going to find um, k. K of the spring. Since this is only there is only one spring, there's there is only one K. So how can I find it? Mechanical energy at location one is equal to mechanical energy at location two. All right. So what are the what are the mechanical energy you have at location one? Let's put all possible mechanical energy. All right. Is there any Gravitational potential energy at location one. Yeah, it is. Why? Because height is not zero. Okay, so this one is survived. Is there any K? No. Why? Because 
you haven't dropped the ball yet. Is there any potential energy due to spin? No, why? Because the ball is 55 centimeter above the strain. It hasn't compressed the strain yet. Okay, so only one unknown survive. Is there any GP at location two? Well, no, because the height is zero with respect to X axis. The height of the ball is zero with respect to X axis. Is there any potential energy due to a spring? Well, no, it barely touches the strain. It hasn't compressed it yet. Is there any kinetic energy? Well, yeah, of course. Why? Because it's moving down. Okay, so one only survived. Okay, so out of six variables, you have only two variables survived. So you have half mg square. Half mg square is equal to what? Uh, mgh. So mg square is equal to 2 mgh. So v is equal to our oh, mm cancel. So v is equal to 2 gh. So v is equal to 2 times 9.8 times 0.55. And that gives you 3.28. You want to find the k. So we're going to find the k is mechanical energy at location what? 2 is equal to mechanical energy at location 3. So GPE plus KE plus PE due to spring is equal to GPE plus KE plus PE due to spring. Okay. So at location two, is there any pot in the gravitational potential energy? No, is because the height is zero with respect to ball height is zero with respect to the x-axis. KE, of course, the ball is moving down. PES, now ball hasn't touched ball haven't compressed the spring yet. Is there any GPE at location three? Yes. Why? Because the height is not zero. This is the height is not zero. Okay. All right. So K no ball is at rest. So K is zero. Uh, potential energy due to spring. Yeah, of course. The, the spring is compressed. So potential energy must be there. So what survived? K E is equal to G P E plus P E S. So out of six variables, only three survived. So half M V squared is equal to what? MGY, let's put Y instead of uh, H, is because uh, this is happening in the Y direction. So plus half KY squared. Do not forget to put negative sign in it because this is below the X axis. Okay, so what do you get? Half MV squared is equal to minus MGY plus half KY squared. Now we're going to isolate K. Why is that? Because that's what we're trying to find. So half mv squared plus mgy is equal to half ky squared. All right, now distribute two everywhere. That uh, well, multiply both sides by two. So what do you get? mv squared plus two mgy. Now divide both sides by y squared. So y squared and y squared. So the k is this. So the k is what? K is M is 2.6, uh, V is uh, 3.28 square, and then Y is 0.15 square, uh, and then 2, M is, oh no, we can factor out, very nice, K is equal to M Y square, M Y square factor out, so V square plus 2G Y. So you have m is 2.6, y squared is 0.15 squared. On the other hand, 3.28 squared plus 2, 9.8, uh, uh, 0.15. If you use the PEMDAS, it's going to give you 15.85 Newton meter. Now we're going to you, we're going to we're going to we're going to solve this different way. Why is that? Because to see that you can get the same answer. How are we going to do it different way? Okay, we're going to completely ignore the location two. What are we going to do? We're going to say kinetic energy at location one, mechanical energy at location one, okay, is equal to mechanical energy at location one is equal to mechanical energy at location three. So you have GPE plus, uh, you have KE plus PES is equal to GPE plus KE plus PES. At location one, you have only GP, nothing else. At location three, you have no kinetic energy. So GPE plus PES, as we explained before. So there is no uh, velocity needed. We're just going to use the energy. Everything is energy. So MGH 
is equal to what? Uh, mgy, of course, minus, we explained that before. Uh, that is plus p half k y square. So mgh is equal to minus mgy plus half k y square. So mgh plus mgy is equal to half k y square. So 2 mgh plus 2 mgy over y square is equal to k. So what, how can we do that? We can factor out, what can we factor out? We can factor out 2 m g y square. So 2 m g y square give us what? h plus y. So k is 2 times 2.6 times 9.8 divided by 0.15 square, 0.55 plus 0.7. Okay. So that gives us 1585 Newton meter. So next time, it's a simple harmonic motion two. We're gonna this this one we're gonna call um, mechanical energy. Next one we're gonna call simple harmonic motion. So mechanical energy, you learn that there are uh, the energy you cannot create or you cannot destroy. You can transfer energy from one form to other, from kinetic to potential to the spring potential, and and vice versa. And next time we're going to try to learn a simple harmonic motion and make a connection between all the things we learn, time, velocity, displacement, uh, acceleration, um, uh, and power as well.